Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing. Today we'll be doing the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S10. Now this before this course was released in the year 2019. It was last year's flagship and it was a smart change in the overall scheme or, sh or shape of the phone. Well today we do an unboxing of the Prism Green version. This is the international version of it which means it has the Exynos processor rather than the Snapdragon processor. Now you can get one of these for about 557 US and without further ado let's actually get into this phone and get into this unboxing. So just one little seal here, uh, you won't find it any other way else, okay so that's it and you open it up and voila, phone is right there. Now of course you always have some other stuff and of course they're hiding right here. So I'm just gonna shift this to the side a little bit, let's see what's in there. We have the semi ejector tool. Open it up, of course you usually <laughs> have the usual stuff, this should be the different documents and how to transfer, instruction manuals, probably a warranty manual somewhere, and you have a case. That's one of the advantages of having an international version, they usually come with cases, and in some cases they might even come with a memory card. So, uh -huh. Let me just open this up. Ah, let me put it to the side. Let me just look at the phone as yeah. Let's get that for later. I'll leave you in suspense. We have the charging brick. <laughs> it's a hefty brick. Uh, but one of the good parts about this is that it actually comes with an adapter in the box. I just have to find it. So I actually did find it and here it is. This is what it actually comes in the box and to use this you just plug it out like that and in you go and that's how it's used. Very straightforward, very simple. Of course it comes with a connector to the transfer, uh, cables, So it has a charging cable. Okay. Regular standard Samsung fear. And we have the AKG AKG headphones. Now let's get to what you're actually here for. The phone. Oh no, you're not actually here to see the front of the phone. You're actually here to see the back of the phone and yes as you can see it's very pretty this is prism green and it's, this phone is overall very pretty so now that I'm looking at it let me just go over some of the very basic specs uh, that you need to know for relation to this phone now this phone is 6.1 inches it is quad HD and dynamic OLED display. It is IP68 water and dust resistant and it has 128 gigabytes of storage. Let's be clear, 128 gigabytes of storage, 8 gigabytes of RAM, which means it should be really fast and it has a 3400 milliamp hour battery. Now in 2020 that is quite small because a lot of phones have much better it has three cameras at the back as you can see there and it has one camera in front all three cameras at the back are 12 megapixels there is a, a zoom standard and a ultra wide the standard is actually a wide and but and then you have the ultra wide of course you have a 10 megapixel front facing camera selfie camera and it is punch hole at the side very easy to see right there of course, well, we have the SIM tray, 
uh, let's actually open this up quickly okay so when you pop it open you have a sim 1 and a micro SD so you can hold two sims in here or two a micro SD and a sim uh -huh. okay so we have the power button on this side here you have the speaker at the bottom the headphone jack apart from the last phone of Samsung to have the headphone jack USB type C We have the Bixby button and the, the volume rocker button. Of course, if we have the microphones up here, uh, another mic at the bottom, and might be a mic through here, but of course, as you can see, there's its speaker grill here, which means it has stereo speakers, which means it goes on the bottom and the top, so you can hear the sound. Should be pretty good as well. So, that's just the phone looking at it here let me actually take this off yes that is pretty that is quite pretty all right so let me just do a little wipe shine it up even more and whew, this is just all very beautiful now it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, uh, but it's pretty good anyway. Now just in relation to the body, this is Gorilla Glass 6 in the front, Gorilla Glass 6 at the back, and an aluminum at the sides. Now this is very nice finish, it is very light, quite light, and this is just really, I don't know, it might be a bit too small for me, but for anyone else I think this is pretty good, and anyone can love this from just the feel of it. It feels like it's not really there in your hands. All right, so let me just turn it on and let's see what's next. I'm gonna skip, skip through the entire process. I don't put you through all of that. Okay, we're back now and it is on and you can see that beautiful, beautiful screen. Now, when this comes on, it is quite clear that it's Android 9.0, but there was an update that came in. So let's give me a chance to see it before I actually update it. And I'm just gonna update it and then show you how it looks after it has been updated. But this is just basically it. All the apps have been installed, games or whatever, so they're all here and everything. So, you know, everything is right here for you to look at. So everything, it is generally a beautiful phone. The screen is beautiful. The fingerprint sensor is a bit, you know, finicky. Let me show you what I mean. It doesn't always work for some reason. See? And even when it does, it's a bit slow. So let's see if the update will make any difference. And like you don't always know where to put your hand because it doesn't really show you where you have to put your hand. So let's hope the update will make some difference in this. Software update is available there. And because you can see how it looks right now, there is no dark mode, there is no screen record. None of those things come with this phone right now. Of course, we have to get light, light in. Um, they have night mode. Let's see. Okay. So there's a night mode. I was wrong. And fix your routines, that'll be kids. Alright, so this is how it looks. General settings. Uh, okay, this is how it looks. And this is how it's responsive to right out of the box. So I'm just gonna click on the update and get right back to you. Install now and begin the update. Of course I'm not gonna sit here and let you go through this process so we'll be right back okay so we're back while it's updating i decided i might as well show you one of the cases from poetic now poetic is one of my favorite brands when it comes to cases they're pretty good uh, i like poetic and I like ringe 
um, they, I believe they're really good brands but they have a lot of really good other brands out there but I just have a I like it before I think. maybe it might just be the name so I'm just going to hawk mode and this is the poetic affinity for the galaxy s10 so let's open it up here here we have it i really like how they package so just gonna cut it quickly here open up oh oh what a journey tends to a little love from mystery gift ah details on the back yes you see what well, i really love me they give me a mystery gift uh, i'm not gonna let you see what it is though so this is the case and it looks pretty sturdy pretty strong and it looks like it has good protection and in general typical poetic style like everything is wow very sturdy and very nice so put this inside and woo! wow I didn't even know it was possible to make this phone look better but wow this case is really good this is just wow it has good as a very popular YouTube receivability. Drop it down. Uh, of course, it doesn't get in the way of the edge because these can be quite annoying. And it is, I'm very sure this would be really good drop protection and a really sturdy case. It won't get in the way of your photos. The flash, some things tend to do. And I mean, look, let's look at it. This is beautiful. Sturdy, but just beautiful. So, definitely the case I'd recommend that you get in the future. So, we'll leave it to do its thing and get back to you later on. Hello, so welcome back. Now it has updated, and you wonder what has changed. But well, the answer is not much. <laughs> That's a beautiful wallpaper. Isn't it? Oh, wrong finger. And <laughs> not much has actually changed but just some things to note when you actually go into the camera sorry when you actually go into the settings uh, you'll see it is now dark mode instead of night mode and confusing people it has a screen card and all these are some things that I noticed it has focus mode and I don't know what else it has but in order it looks more standard if you've had other phones like the S20, S20 FE or whatever, it looks like those phones. So, something to expect. Uh, let's see what has changed in the camera mode. Uh, nothing much. Okay. And what's more, night mode. So it doesn't have the pro mode, which is a bit sad so the current s20s they actually have the pro mode in the video format but this is not a pro mode in the video it has promoted photo we're not promoting video which is a bit unfortunate that instagram mode which is a bit redundant since you do have settings that would allow you to get square photos such as going up here and doing one one by one that will give you a square photo so that's a lot of tips to go through anyway this is just my general overview i'm just going to do some tests on it i'm just going to test the actual camera and test the audio so that you get a chance to read and truly see this phone in its best light so this is ac here uh if you like videos such as this then please subscribe if you like this video then of course press like and if you have any questions or comments or even suggestions, feel free to leave a comment and I will try my best to respond to you as soon as I can. So I'll see you again in another video.